with Scenic City Boot Camp, and today we're just going to clean out the refrigerator. It's a Saturday morning. It's a great time to go um, grocery shopping or on a Sunday, plan ahead. So we want to kind of like look through our refrigerator. It's been a while and uh, see what we can find. I know there's not a lot in there, but um, we'll give you a couple helpful tips that you can use um, as well. And one thing is when you're trying to lose weight, when you're trying to um, do a transformation program such as the Extreme Makeover program, it's helpful to have a lot of visualization. So like posting pictures of like the body you want or a fitness model's physique that you would love to have. Um, that would be a great option. Right now, what we have up here is pictures of family and friends and it's a little bit cluttered and that's okay. We do have a grocery list here which is nice so when you go and clean out the refrigerator it's very easy to just reach up and write what you need. But uh, we're going to work on this, okay? So let's go into our refrigerator. Hey guys, it's Kristen from Scenic City Boot Camp and today what we're doing is cleaning out our refrigerator. It's a weekend, um, it's a great time to plan ahead for the week ahead and to go through some of the stuff. So as you can see, we've been cleaning things out. Um, it's been a while since we've actually did a full um, throw out of some items. So some items have expired a long time ago, unfortunately. Um, but what we're going to do is go grocery shopping, fill up our foods with, um, fill up our refrigerator with some good foods, some lean protein, protein some starchy carbs, all that kind of stuff. As you can see, we've got our containers that have our marinated meats and our broccoli and all that kind of stuff, but we definitely need a lot more in our refrigerator right now. Um, we've got some whole grains in here. It's a really great time to take some inventory of what you need, save you a little bit of money so you don't go and buy the same things. I found like probably seven cloves of garlic so far. Um, so what do we need? We need some chicken? Definitely need some chicken, need some lean protein, some eggs. Um, we're really low on protein right now. We've got some vegetables, but I think we need to stack up a little more. Um, I've got some sweet potatoes right here, but they're not going to last long because we made them a couple of days ago. So, definitely need pretty much everything. We've got some good marinades um, here for our chicken. Probably don't need that, but... Uh, we're definitely going to need some... Some chicken, so. turkey, tuna, salmon, yogurt, cottage cheese. Uh, we need some spinach and some broccoli and a lot of different veggies so we can chop those up and stick them in a Tupperware container. So that we all we have to do when we come home is grab them, put them on a plate, and you got a nice complete meal. Make it as easy as possible, right? Exactly. That's important. All right, so we're going to the grocery store, and we'll be back. Hey, guys, it's Kristen from Scenic City Adventure Boot Camp, and we are back from the grocery store. As you can see, we've kind of remodeled the outside of the fridge. Um, this is a great visualization tool. So this is for me. This is for Kevin, and I'm a big proponent of what you think about, you bring about. So when you're reaching for something in your freezer, Obviously, you've got this visualization piece in here. It's very good. Kevin had an idea of putting my picture on um, my friend Jennifer Nicole Lee's body. So um, he's zeroing in on that right now. But um, I think it's a really good visualization tool. And if you can add your head, even if it's out of proportion to the picture, um, it's a really good thing to kind of... Uh, give you this mental picture of what you want and what you're going for. It's a great um, goal setting tool to use, a motivational tool. So, um, I, I guess that's it. Let's go back into the refrigerator and let's look at what we have. All right. Well, that so, looks a whole lot better. Than yeah, it's a little more stocked, still a little empty. But uh, we've got our skim milk, we've got our orange juice, which, um, you know, is good for smoothies. It tends to be a little higher in sugar, so in moderation it's good. We've got our chicken, low-sodium chicken broth. Um, we've got our proteins on this side. We've got our marinades back there, so they're very easy to find. We've got our low-fat cottage cheese. We've got some chicken that is marinating right here, some turkey, some legumes, some eggs. And then on this side, we've got carbs, and Cody wants to show us the carbs because he wants to eat it. All right, so we've got the yogurts over here. We've got sweet potatoes in the back, tortillas, brown rice, potatoes. Um, and then, 
Cody, oranges, what's right there? Oranges at the bottom. Oranges at the bottom. We've got some fruits. We've got some berries, some strawberries, blueberries, all that kind of stuff. And then on our left hand side. Cody, move. Cody, come here. On our left hand side, we have our vegetables, our Brussels sprouts, our broccoli, our um, red, yellow, and green bell peppers. You know, going for variety, going for different colors, that's important. We got our blues, our reds, our yellows, our oranges, our greens. Um, variety is key. And then over here, we've got our, suppl our supplements, our condiments. Um, some of them probably aren't the best. We've got our butter, obviously, String in cheese. moderation. We've got string cheese. We've got stuff to add to salads like cranberries and cherries and pecans. Um, we've got our lime juice and stuff for tenderizing those meats. So that's just kind of a way that we like to set up our kitchen or set up our refrigerator. So it's very easy to grab and go. And then what we're going to do next is start prepping our food. Start prepping our meats that are in their containers. Um, if we don't feel like we're going to use chicken right away or all the chicken, then we're going to put that in the freezer so that we make sure that we don't waste our money. Because, you know, um, it's always important to try and save money. And then we're going to prep our peppers and all that kind of stuff. So when we wake up in the morning, it's easy to just grab and go. Um, everything will be in containers. And if you are going to work tomorrow, you might want to set, um, set out your lunches. So that's our refrigerator. And these are our dogs. Lucy, hey, Lucy, Lucy, hi, there she is. So, like we said before, it's really important to do your grocery shopping on the weekends. Um, set aside some time. It really only takes about um, two hours or three hours to prep all your foods and set yourself up for success in the days to come. I'm Kristen from Scenic City Boot Camp, and that's Kevin behind the camera.